Hola a todos, hello everyone. Uh, today we are celebrating here in the street the Queen's uh, Platinum Jubilee here in England. Uh, so the neighbors asked me to do like a paella for them. So I'm just gonna cook for you the paella and hopefully if it doesn't rain a lot, uh, I'm gonna show you a bit of what we are doing today here in the street. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you around. We are gonna pack dry the chicken wings. I just decided to, to buy chicken wings because it's a like um, nice size for people to pick up with their hands and eat. Um, I think it looks very cute. So next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put uh, salt, pepper, And also, uh, I just decided to go for dried herbs uh, of Provence. Basically, what I'm looking for is uh, rosemary and, you know, uh, oregano. So this is gonna do like a nice flavor. Okay, so cover the chicken completely in foil until it's time to put it back. Right, uh, now we need to caramelize the onion. So if we think it's gonna get burned, maybe add a bit of a splash of water, but that's the point we really want. Right, in the meanwhile we're gonna prepare the beans. So the idea is that we need to cut, I mean ideally it should be flat beans. Okay, so, so we need to cut them, should cut them like that. When the onion is halfway done, I like to add the beans uh, because I want them uh, crunchy but a bit done. sofrito which is the part we're doing now with the onion the tomato the garlic we want this to be almost you know caramelized and this is the secret tip for a very good paella right I think I'm gonna turn off the heat at this point because the base of the paella is done so once it's time to finish the cooking 
I will add uh, the rice, um, the chicken and the broth and then it's gonna be like 15 minutes so we're gonna stop in here okay so it's time to finish the paella uh, I bought uh, short grain rice a lot <laughs> Uh, so what's happening in here is I have I have here like chicken stock uh, about to boil. I'm like uh, warming up the base of the paella. I'm gonna add some uh, saffron uh, to give color and flavor to the stock, uh, and I'm just gonna put uh, the rice in here to mix up with the with the base. Um, I'm gonna put one one of these portions. One of these portions per per person. Right, so this is burning now. We need to act quick. Right. Okay. So to fry fry the rice so uh, with the base so frito so it absorbs all the flavors so uh, six so I need to do twelve so one two, three, two, three, two, three. okay so at this point in time, we make sure everything is mixed up. Okay. We may need more stock because this is like Italian rice. It may be a ratio of three. Okay, and then what we're gonna do, and is very important, is we're gonna add our chicken. I'm not sure how much chicken I'm gonna add, but one, two. Uh, my biggest worry, to be honest, is that it needs to cook uh, in a slow simmer, and I'm gonna try to make sure if I can cover like the um, the fire all around because this is not the best, uh, you know, the best place to cook the paella. <laughs> but let's see. Right, also I'm gonna add some artichokes. I have lots of issues with uh, fresh artichokes on, in season and they all get very hard. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add a few artichokes hearts as well around. Probably uh, one trick to make sure it cooks. Um, I'm just gonna keep moving around. Okay, so that is how it looks like so far. Uh, I'm just gonna peel the pepper to for decoration and some uh, lemon wedges, and I think that's that's all. So we are gonna wait around 15 minutes uh, and give it a try, uh, and let's see. The tip for the rice is when when it's almost done, and it really depends on the rice. Normally, the paella rice is like 10 minutes. I think it's gonna be 15 minutes because it is arborio rice. So when the rice is almost done, then we need to cover and let it set without no fire for three minutes, and then it's all done. Vas a salir. 
que no, tranquila. <laughs> also, eh, I'm following my friend's advice. Eh, I'm gonna add a bit of um, eh, sweet paprika dissolving water just to give a bit more flavor. At this point, the rice is almost done, so I'm gonna stop the fire and then I'm gonna um, put these uh, herbs. Okay, and then I'm gonna cover for exactly three minutes. Like that for three minutes.